guys, I'm Gaurav and you're watching Technoholic Gaurav. Uh, let's not wait for any fancy drum beats, musical screens and all. We'll just uh, get down to the point. So guys, uh, today we are going to talk about a drone launch that happened recently and that was Femi X8 SE 2020 model. And as we all know, uh, Femi X8 SE has been a very trusted dro drone that was launched in 2018 has got a lot of you know firmware updates and is pretty trustworthy uh, works well for me i already own a femi x8 se and this drone has been wonderful for me shoots in 4k 2.7k 1080p and solves all my purpose has a wonderful range of around 5 kilometers but i have not gone that far uh, i have been just flying around with uh, within my vision line of sight and maximum you know once i have gone uh, uh gone 500 meters that's all but uh this drone has been very very good for me and uh, now uh long story short another drone has arrived from femi that is femi x8 se 2020 model which is a direct counter to hubson xeno 2 which was a major launch in december 2019 guys a lot of people were having issues with the hubson products uh, the hubson's falling out of the sky because of faulty batteries and all and uh, this time Hubson came up, uh, came with all the bells and whistles. You know, they have improved almost everything, the propulsion system, the battery, the chipset, the camera and everything. And uh, the drone shoots 4K60 and it has an amazing range of eight kilometers and everything, you know, was amazing. And because of that, you know, a lot of uh, customers were leaning towards the Hubson side. So to address that issue, Femi had to come up with a counter and the counter is Femi X8 SE 2020 model. So the guys, the drone remains the same. The, the new drone would look exactly like this. What all changes they have done are, what all changes that have been made are all internal. So let's break them one by one. The first change that I have uh, read is now you'll be having three satellite systems that the drone would recognize and that would help you have extra satellites in remote places. Uh, the, it will definitely add up to the drone stability. Another thing that they have done is now their downward sensor, the ultrasonic sensor can track the ground from 30 meter distance. So now even that will add up to a more stable flight. Another thing, you know, uh, what I found out while I was going, uh, going through the spec was now the drone is rainproof the design uh, it comes with a rainproof design what i could understand was that you know if you can have a look the drone uh, in the in this drone the motors are exp uh, exposed and you can you know see the coils but if you check out the photographs of the 2020 version you would see that the uh, the motors have a cover and the coils are not exposed so maybe that's what they're calling a rainproof design, but I would, you know, still not advise you to fly a drone uh, uh, during the rains. Another thing what has changed is uh, the drone has gone 25 grams lighter, which will def which is adding up to a two minutes of extra flight time, but that is pretty marginal. And I think, you know, practically we get 25 plus minutes of flight time and that is more than enough uh, it solves the purpose. You can take a good uh, scene and a good view of uh, things around in 25 minutes. That's more than enough, I think. And uh, what the major thing that changed is the camera sensor. Now the drone, the 2020 model will be coming with a one by 2.6 sensor, which uh, what I have read is that sensor is being used by, you know, a lot of uh, high-end smartphones. The drone will be coming with uh, night mode shot so that will definitely give you better you know nighttime videos and photos another thing that i read uh, in the spec was now we'll get a 32 second exposure we can you know uh, 32 second long exposure but i don't think that would be you know uh, uh, we c that is something we can use because the once in air drone is constantly moving up and down and sideways so if we are uh, taking a long exposure things tend to get blurry uh, if uh, the you know if the drone is moving so i don't know if anybody could make a good use of that feature 
and apart from that i think the new sensor would address more uh, most of the issues that a lot of people were facing with the fimi's video and photo quality uh apart from that i think i will still hold on to my old drone uh i think i will never use that uh, 8 km range i am happy with uh, the range of my current fimi about the sensor upgrades i think the uh those upgrades would be noticeable when we'll keep the footage side to side otherwise the all the gains would be pretty much negligible and uh, and so is the case with all the drones uh, you cannot you know if the video is coming out of a hubson or a fimi or any other drone you won't be able to make out it's coming out of which drone uh, all the videos would look fantastic and uh, me personally i'm not a pixel people so i'm pretty happy with what i what i have and the kind of videos and photos that i get out of my current drone so uh so guys uh, do check out the fimi x8 2020 model and if you uh, want to buy I, i think it would be an amazing drone to own and uh, if you have already have a drone and uh, still confused whether you want to go whether you should buy you should be buying 2020 model of Fimi X8 SE i think guys it would be wise to you know hold on to your old drone because uh, the only difference is when you keep things uh, side by side otherwise things look pretty much the same uh, and uh, what really matters is how you create a video uh, that's what matter skill matters not the drone otherwise all's wonderful right guys enjoy enjoy guys have a wonderful day and if you like the video do consider subscribing my channel thank you bye